Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about Miria and why I believe it can rival projects like Immutable X and Gala Games, which are two massive projects in the crypto space currently. Firstly, I wanna talk about the technology that Miria is using. And to be honest, I wouldn't usually dive into the technology side of things, but in this case I will because it explains why it is set to compete with. It. So Miria is a decentralized Ethereum layer two solution built to empower digital assets, NFT, blockchain gaming, and more. So Miria uses a Stark-based ZK rollup solution, which is actually the same solution that Immutable X uses. So you can see here with the Starkware ecosystem that Immutable X is actually one of the projects that uses Stark ZK rollups for their offering as well. Immutable X has had quite a lot of hype behind it because the zero gas fees and it can scale up to 9,000 transactions per second and is carbon neutral. What's interesting as well is like Myria's L2 ZK rollup scaling solution is also estimated to do the same throughput. And yeah, it's light years ahead of what Ethereum can do with uh, currently around 15 transactions per second. And what I like here is they actually use memes with the game assets that they're building out, which is which is pretty cool. So in terms of the market cap, you can possibly expect to see with Miria, Immutable X here is currently sitting at a $357 million market cap, which is quite high. And it's, it's actually come down a significant amount from its all time highs of $9.30, currently sitting at $1.50. So the market cap for this was significantly higher. Now, in, in terms of the, the offering that Miria is doing, they're, they're building out a suite of games similar to Gala Games as well. So you can see here Gala Games is releasing titles like Spider Tank, Superior, Walking Dead Empires, Legends Reborn, Townstar, Mirandus, Legacy, Last Expedition, Echoes of Empire, and Fortitude. Now, a clear distinction between Gala Games and what Miria is doing is Gala is a closed ecosystem, meaning all of these titles and games that they're releasing are being built from their in-house team of developers, game developers, and asset creators. Whereas Miria is actually opening their ecosystem up to gaming projects outside of their own studio, which means that they will be able to scale their games and ecosystem a lot quicker because they're not relying on all their own resources to actually expand their suite of games. Now, when you're looking at Gala as a comparison for market cap as well, they currently sit at a billion dollar market cap. So one might expect that Miria will sit somewhere between 300 million to a billion. I, I could see it getting to those sort of levels as well. Now, similar to Gala, they've, they're building out their own suite of games. So you've got Meta Rush, Meta Cart, Block Royal, Star Strike Legends. And as I mentioned, they're also getting other gaming projects to build on their ecosystem as well. So they've recruited two studios at present to build their own games. So you've got Leap Block Studios building Moonville Farm and you've got Playware Games building Hot Slice Tycoon. Now, what's interesting, and I don't believe Gala has done it, is like there is, Myria is gonna have interoperable NFTs. So this is basically going to be the one NFT that will have two different looks or representations depending on the game or metaverse that you're going to within Myria. So with this little guy here, I'm assuming that that will be a character that will be playable in both Meta Rush and Meta Cart. Whereas this taller guy here, he's probably going to be a character that you use in Block Royale or Star Strike Legends, but it will be still the one NFT. Then lastly, where Miria and Gala also are similar is Miria is also releasing their own node program where as a node operator, you will be able to receive tokens and NFTs that uh, can be used in their suite of games just by, just by running a node. I actually have a mate who got one of the first Gala nodes and they were just running their node for the, the course of the last 
two to three years. And in that time, they've amassed, they amassed over 2 million gala tokens. And they actually have on one of their withdraw withdrawals, 2 million gala that they, that they withdrew. So that's currently worth 280,000. $586, but as we know, the crypto market's come down a, a fair amount of time since then. So at its peak, um, you can see here, all time high, it was at 82 cents. So if we take the 2 million here and we actually times it by 82 cents, you actually find that that's 1.6 four million dollars that that would be worth now and that was just over the course of i believe two to three years that just goes to show what these myriad nodes could potentially earn you in the future as well and that's only over a yeah a, a very short amount of time like two to three years you could be pulling out 1.6 million that's that's insane returns uh, so that's why I'm quite bullish on this project with the Immutable X competition and also the Gala Games competition there as well. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.